Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start the updates with Falcon 9 rocket completing its static fire test preparations for Crew 8 mission. Crew 8 astronauts went through full rehearsal of launch day activities ahead of liftoff planned for Friday, March 1st at 12.04 am Eastern Time. Now let's talk about the second Starship launch and what really happened. For Booster 9 rapid and scheduled disassembly, it was a filter blockage where liquid oxygen is supplied to the engines, leading to a loose of inlet pressure in engine oxidizer turbo pump that eventually resulted in one engine failing in a way that resulted in loose of the vehicle. And for Ship 25, it was a leak in the F section of the spacecraft that developed when the liquid oxygen vent was initiated resulted in a combustion event and subsequent fires that led to a loss of communication between the spacecraft's flight computer. This resulted in a commanded shutdown of all six engines prior to completion of the ascent burn, followed by activation of the flight termination system. Now to the main update, FAA closes SpaceX Starship mishap investigation. Let's skip all the talk and go to the conclusion. The FAA has been provided with sufficient information and accepts the root causes and corrective actions described in the mishap reports. Consequently, the FAA considers the mishap investigation that SpaceX was required to complete to be concluded. So now the question is when launch? And before the launch, we need a launch license. So September 8th is the last time the FAA closed SpaceX Starship mishap investigation and the launch license granted by the FAA on November 15th. So it took 37 days. I think this time will be easier and won't take that long. In the meantime, SpaceX team preparing Starship B10S28 for launch. We have temporary cruiser for tomorrow, Wednesday, February 28th, from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. It's more likely to roll ship 28 to the build site or maybe surprise by bring booster 10 to the launch site. Let's end this video with three new pictures captured by Odysseus, about 30 meters above the lunar surface. I don't know why we don't have the new pictures of the lander taking up on the lunar surface yet, if we know that the battery life of the lander is coming to an end in the next 20 hours. That's it for now, this is the end of this episode, see you tomorrow.